Hey, Miles here, milesbeckler.com, and this video is an audience insights alternative for Facebook advertising, specifically designed to help you find the interests that you want to focus your Facebook advertising campaigns on without using the audience insights tool. Now I have a great video series, there's two of them now, on the audience insights tool, but many people are saying they're still having a difficult time finding relevant interests. They're saying that when they go add their kind of big target interests they're trying to find, they add their competitors, it's so general. They're getting things like Walmart and Amazon, and they can't target those individuals because there's not enough specificity for the niche, right? Because relevance is everything when advertising on Facebook. And the goal here is to steal our competitors' customers. So what I'm going to show you in this video is an alternative to that audience insights tool. And really, just before we jump in, a reminder that those who adapt most quickly and continue to push through through and persevere are those who win at this game, right? Facebook is constantly changing the game on us. They're constantly changing how their tools work. They're constantly changing the data that's displayed and how it's displayed, etc. You're going to need to just continue to move forward in light of these changes in order to kind of notice that as they remove something from one place, they kind of usually add it somewhere else. And you'll notice it if you just continue on with the process. So if you hit roadblock in the future, things aren't working the way you're expecting, keep going and the odds are you'll figure out what kind of was confusing you at that point later down the road. So that's more of a broad strategy, but let's jump into the nuts and bolts. So I've got here loaded uh, one of my ad accounts here. This is kind of my test ad account. And it's super simple. You can do this from the ads manager or you can do this from the power editor. Either one works perfectly, but I'm simply going to come over here and click create campaign. It's going to take me into the, the campaign creation and I'm just going to start over since I don't need that in there. And it asks me what kind of campaign I'm going to click conversions. It wants me to name it. I don't really care. I'm just using this process to get access to the tool that's going to give me the relevant interests instead of the audience insights tool. So here on on the actual ad set level, you can see we're at the ad set level. It wants me to name the ad set. You scroll down and you've got the detailed targeting, right? And this is essentially the reverse of the audience insight tool. Now, I don't recommend you simply go in here and stack on everyone that Facebook recommends. We're going to use their auto populate and their auto recommend feature here in order to pull out the interests. I think you still need to kind of build your list of 30 interests. You need to cross reference them all. You need to make sure they're all hyper relevant to your niche before you simply go throwing money at them. Because if you don't go kind of make sure that your audience is also going to be interested in this, these people that whatever you find from this tool, you might be throwing your money in a direction that has very, very minimal chance to return on that investment. Cool. So let's go in here. And Tony Robbins is the example I've been using. So I just click and I'm going to type in Tony Robbins, right? And it's going to auto populate and I'm going to click on Tony Robbins. Now you can see below there's this large area here that it pulls up all kinds of different interests that are available for me to target right here based on Tony Robbins. And you notice I can scroll down and down and this is how many it brings up. As I hover over them, it shows me how many people on the right hand side. It gives me a little tiny interest. I don't think um, the interest it shows over here, I wouldn't pay attention to that. But how I would go about this if I were you is put up the main competitor whose customers you wish to kind of borrow, right? You want to get their customers, you want to get your ads in front of their customers. So you want to pop them in here and then go right down each one of these that show up. But here's what's kind of interesting. You might notice, so Tony Robbins, cool, let's go to Napoleon Hill, right? Let's say you want not just people interested in motivation and inspiration in the human potential movement, but also people who want to build businesses. So now we have this kind of group of two interests and it's going to show us the next most kind of relevant interests to this grouping and you'll notice some of it changed some of it didn't and then I can simply remove Tony Robbins from here and now I'm focusing only on the ones from Napoleon Hill and this is kind of the rabbit hole if you will right this is how you go down the rabbit hole to find more and more interests that you may not have known about before and now I'm on the four-hour work week and you can see there's a lot of these are very very similar with each other right that kind of gives us the the chunk or the bulk from the get-go 
But remember, it's those who do more research and find more unique interests that fewer advertisers are bidding on, those advertisers generally win lower cost per click, lower cost per conversion, higher conversion rates, because there's less advertisers in that auction focusing their ads on these people, right? There's gonna be a lot of people focused on Tony Robbins because a lot of people know who Tony Robbins is. There will probably be less people focused on Amy Porterfield. With that said, there's probably going to be a lot of people focusing their ads on Amy Porterfield in the make money online niche, right? But this is how we can use another Facebook tool in the Facebook advertising system in order to find these kinds of hyper relevant interests that we can focus our ads on. From here, what I do is I will take a notepad and I will write down the ones that I think are the most relevant that is being suggested to me here. I'm going to go ahead and write those down on a notepad. And then what I do is I go into the Audience Insights tool, which you can find by clicking on the Ads Manager. Go to All Tools, and you'll see here uh, on the plan, I'm going to hit Hold Control and click, and it's going to open that in a new tab here. And let's just kind of take a look at how these work against each other, if you will, right? So here, I've got Perry Belcher, who is one of the two people who run, actually, that's a really small interest. Let's do, uh, let's go back to Amy Porterfield here, because she's a smaller and Perry Belcher is one of the guys who he's a partner with Ryan Dice on Digital Marketer. You can see there's 1.8 million. That's kind of why I made this change. It'll be a better example. So I've got Amy Porterfield in here and you notice it gives me all of these other people I might want to target for interests. Then I can come over here and I'm going to leave it at everyone on and I'm going to click interest. I'm going to do Amy Porterfield. So you can see it automatically suggests her, so it pulls that up, perfect. And I wanna go here and look at page likes, and we're gonna go down to the affinity tool, because this is what they really changed. And you can see some of these are going to match, right? But like Dave Ramsey, he's more about budgeting, and she's much more about internet marketing and making money online. There's some overlap there, but that's not a great overlap. Here you can see Starbucks and Whole Foods, like that is not a great target for you to go after. And you can see this is the challenge people were having, right? Amazon.com, you can see Tony Robbins in there, Facebook Business, so some of these aren't target example upworthy, right? Some of these aren't great, relevant kind of targets for you to interest, but some of them are, right? I think TED, Success Magazine might not be that great, but Gary Vaynerchuk, et cetera, could be really good ones. So this is how you can kind of bounce back and forth in between the two. And you've got this one over here. You can see Evan Pagan, Tim Ferriss, Jeff Walker, Anik Signal. They're all information marketers. And then you go down here, you don't really see them in this one, right? Donald Trump, Whole Foods, Groupon. Those are way too general for you to target. So here you've got Marie Forleo and you've got Robert Kiyosaki. So it's kind of giving you some of those same things you can target here, but I've found that using this ads manager version, it gives a lot more focused interests a lot more quickly. But again, I really, really, really stress this point. Don't simply come in here and just take Facebook's word for it and add all of these to your campaign and run your campaign, right? You need to be doing your research. Do your due diligence before you spend money on any one of these interests because you need to make sure there's a high likelihood of relevance that the audience who likes Andy Jenkins per se is also an audience who would like your product. How do you know? You go look at their fan page. You go find their website. You go look if they have any books on Amazon. You go read their blog posts on their blog. If it sounds like a lot of work, guess what? Research is a lot of work. But this is where most people kind of don't do the work, if you will. And most people will just simply come in here, add a bunch, and they might get some non-relevant ones going. And then they're going to think, oh my goodness, this didn't work, right? Because they had a bunch of non-relevant relevant interest they're marketing at. So of course, this doesn't work and they leave. But for that temporary time they were playing the game, they're bumping up your costs, right? The other people who find a few that work, they might have higher ticket products, they might be able to spend more on a customer than you're able to spend. And that's how they'll be able to work and kind of work with the Tony Robbins interests because they might be making four to 800 or $1,000 per sale. But if you're only earning 40 to $100 per sale, you need to leverage more 
more research in order to find those interests that they're not leveraging, right? They focus on the big, easy to target ones. You come in, do a little bit more research. You find the less known ones that are still hyper relevant. And that is how you can find honeypots full of customers and leads and conversions at a very low cost for you in the Facebook advertising campaign. So I hope this video has been helpful. If you have been having challenges with the Facebook audience insights tool and that research has been challenging you in the Facebook advertising process, I hope understanding that you get access to this kind of information here in the ads manager or it also shows up in the power editor when you're at the ad set level so just go in and set up a test campaign when you get to the ad set level start playing with this detailed targeting this is where it all comes out but again write them down put them on excel spreadsheet put them on a word document go do more research try to rule out ones that are not relevant to your niche relevance is everything in this game you need to make sure it's hyper relevant and once you've got your list go right back into the facebook advertising platform run your ads whether you're doing the five dollar a day style or you're grouping them together in one big ad set both work it's up to you to test which works best for you and this is how you can make sure that your advertisement is targeted toward the customers of your competitors and there's no easier way to grow your business quickly and get more leads and more customers than to literally go borrow them if you will or steal them from your competitors if you found this video to be helpful give me a thumbs up here in YouTube I do appreciate the the thumbs up the shares the comments if you have any questions about how this works leave me a comment below I'm happy to answer your questions as best I can and I look forward to hearing about your success with Facebook advertising and I am excited to share more and uh, to see you on the next video so thanks again for your time be well